Hello everyone. So this is a continuation of uh, earlier. We were putting in the um, the supporting beams for the roof of this RV. Uh, they call them spars. Um, essentially, what we're using here is a this is a two by two piece of wood. So I got two by two by eight. Uh, foot sections of these and they run about two dollars and seven cents at Lowe's or Home Depot Pretty much the same price either one um, off by a few cents so what I did um, if We can look at all three of these walls here your your two exterior walls and your back wall I made sure they're all uh, secured by some cross members uh, so they're all plumb and uh, they have more or less the the same height uh, off by either you know the most of an eighth of an inch and then with our uh, chalk line this guy over here you take that just basically a piece of uh, uh, long thin rope with chalk on it and a level uh, a torpedo level you place that in the middle make sure that from here to here, but that whole thing is level. And then once you got that in place, I started to mount all of these uh, cross members. Um, I don't know if we can zoom back a little bit more, but there's the very front. And this guy right here in the middle, that's gonna be where our vent is. That's a 14 and a half by 14 and a half uh, square. That's our rough opening. And then uh, once you put the vent in, it's gonna have a little um, trim piece that it's got an overlap of maybe like an inch and a half uh, inch and then you'll uh, secure that and caulk it and uh, you're good to go so just uh, just kind of briefly our, our list of things here we had some uh, some mending straps uh, these are you know if you go in your hardware aisle where all the Simpson hardware is these are pretty uh, nice and pretty useful you can get these for, I don't know, they're about 55 cents each. Um, and then I got some truss lath screws here. What's nice about these is uh, they're short, and yet if you can, I don't know, let's see if I can zoom in on that head of that thing. They have a fairly flat head, and they don't have a tapered neck on it, so a lot of times when you get these brackets, um, I'll show you this one right here. If you see those gold, those are just regular um, wood screws, and the neck is actually tapered, so it looks like a V. So you're not getting as much purchase on that um, screw to wood to fastener uh, relationship there. But with these guys, um, if you look underneath, it's just completely flat. So this thing goes completely flush inside here. And I'll pan up to one of these guys. I have these up here. Um, it's not very focused, but what's nice is that when I put my uh, interior you know, trim wood inside here, it's gonna be like eighth inch birch, um, that it won't create a big, you know, bulky prominence. Uh, so you can see that. So I chose those for now, uh, and they're they're actually very very strong. I mean the shearing strength of these is incredibly strong. So I'm gonna have you know one of these on each side of uh, all of those vertical posts leading up to uh, your head rail on each side of the trailer. So this thing's gonna be of significant strength. Um, so I think that's all for now. Next time uh, we'll come back, we're gonna start building the uh, bench in the back and our radius front here. All right, have a good one. 